Artyom, we are in position, awaiting orders. Heads up, people! Fuck me if I'm getting a bolt in my head over this shit! Shoot, man! I give up! You just keep calm and don't shoot, man. I surrender.
Axiom, I see you. Come up here on the crane. You made it. I was worried sick while you were running around in that terminal. Yermak said you brought the sleeper carriage. You are simply the best. Sorry I'm talking so much, but I missed you. Okay, okay, back to business. <clears throat> Damned cough. I guess I spent too much time in that dump. So, so they, they have, have more, more guards, guards than, than we anticipated. It, it seems risky, risky but, but Crest says, says such caravans are usually commanded, commanded by a captain. captain. So, so if, if we, we capture him, him the, the others will surrender. surrender. They have about 15 guards. Four at the tugboat ladder, sentries at the pier. Sam will take the right flank. Come in, Sam. I'm in position. I can see a guard. Duke is to the left of the hangar. Come in. Duke in position, ready to pick the guard off. Idiot is on the far crane. Ready for action. Got a mark on everyone on the pier. Crest has scouted out the basement. There's only two of them here. Something, so this seems to be the best part for quite Well, Artyom, we are all set. You managed to get out of the church quietly, so let's make this one the same. Yeah, it's no fun beating up immature soldiers like them. Cut the chatter. All right, Artyom, you're in charge. You call the shots. Okay, well, it's high time we started. So, try to get on that tugboat. We'll give you cover. Let's go over the plan one more time. Once the tugboat is in our hands, Sam, Etiot, and I will go back to the Aurora, while Artyom, Duke, and Crest take the boat to the bridge. Good luck, everyone.
So, what is there in Astraka? Just the market. The city is, you know, gone. But the piers are still there. So what once the river got cleaner, they started trading Doesn't there. look like we're going to get much of anything from guarding this place. You contaminate the piers. Trouble. I have a market uh, there. stuff to do well I sure don't like it but we gotta check all right let's do that I'll avenge you if you get eaten <laughs> yeah, yeah sure just don't shoot my head so just want to get as far away from this place as possible it's just a lost cause standing guard here so 
Are we going to Nizhny this time? No, we'll turn back about 20 clicks from there. Fuck those assholes. You're talking about the outpost? Yeah, the last time we were there, those fucking so-called vigilant watchmen made a sieve out of our bridge. Conveniently, everything was all right while we were unloading the wares, but when the time came to pay up... Damn assholes. Well said. So now, even if they offer a crate of ammo for a piece of bread, I don't care. I'd sooner go to Baku than there. Well, they say it's no fun in games over there either. Nobody knows really. Everybody's just lying their asses off. But we know about Nizhny for sure. See this scar? There you have Watch it. Watch out, on your right. What the hell? The generator died again. No, 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 not them. I have to stay alert here. This place isn't safe, that's for sure. There are narrow spaces between the cargo. Squeeze through them. How much longer do I have to... Will we have power today or what? We've got a job to do. We will, we will. The spark plugs got drenched again. Ah, well, what's taking you so long then? Let me well, I was do it, my guess. Ah, nope. Got that pouch on you. It's a not a bad thing. Climb overboard. Eight. <laughs> That's a good one. The they don't even bite here. That monster must have eaten all the fish. Hey, you can't eat all the fish. Anyway, you move along and quit scaring the fish away with your bullshit. It's high time you started biting. Nothing, as expected. So how long are we going to keep sitting on our thumbs here? Well, Mikhailich is working on it. The generator shuts off all the time now. Yeah, that's because you should have picked up normal spark plugs, not the shit you got. It sure would have saved us a lot of trouble. Well, 
they aren't so bad. Look how long they lasted. And Ahmed wanted two more clips for the new guys, so... And anyway, what's your problem? Are you in a hurry? Ooh, I don't know if I can this take place this anymore. Oh, sure, the monster nothing in the river. happening is better this than shit is too killed, much. but still. <laughs> it's a shame you aren't in Shiboxery. What is that? One of those monsters sunk a barge. Now that's bullshit. Tell that to Sergei when you see him. He and the boys wanted to catch it. How? Well, the usual way. We got a boat anchor, put a roasted dog on it, tied the rope to a bollard, and then they waited. So, what happened? They, it bit, that's what. And it bit so well, it tore the bollard off the barge, along with half of its side. So it sunk on the spot. Wow! Like, wow! Ah, bullshit. What happened next? Well, they swam ashore. And by the time they got out of the water, two of Sergei's friends had been eaten. He just opened its mouth and swallowed them whole. Shit, shit, shit. I just oh, want to get shit. as far away from this place as possible. And why, pray tell, is Sergei all gray, even though he's just turned 40? How am I supposed to know? Well, just ask him. He'd tell you about swimming with that monster behind. Yeah. Shit. Right, I'd better be going. Me too. All right. Yeah, I'd better go too. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I can pay the, the goods! Take them! You can take the goods! Stay calm! It's us! We don't need your goods! Your tugboat, on the other hand! You can collect it at the bridge if you play your cards right! You got me? Uh, yes, of course! Order your people to stand down and nobody gets hurt! At once! Hey, listen up, people! This is your skipper! Stand down and surrender at once! You did the right thing. It's nice to talk to a smart guy for a change. Now go! <laughs> Great job, Atom! I have killed all of our guys are fine. We have no time to waste. Good luck, guys. I hope the winds are fair and the waters are smooth. And Artyom, watch it out there. Oh yeah, we're gonna need that luck, all right. Fair winds. Hurra! Man your stations, way anchor! We're gonna go about halfway there, then wait in the reeds until about 4 o'clock. We want to get there early in the morning, when the fog is the thickest and they are sleepy after the morning prayer. Artyomich, Duke, we're on final approach. There, 
See that fire at the very top? That's the control post. What well, used to be anyway. Now it's a shrine, Blet. Closer to God at the top, you see. That's where you have to go. I'll distract the guards now. Hey, you are sure? Catch the line! Ready! Hey, sailors! What did you do to your barge? What you gonna sell now? <laughs> oh, you're so funny! Jack is playing. So, Artyom, shall we move? Man. Whoever gets there first we wins. Break a leg. What you gonna do now? Arsenal, the equipment, the Aurora is quietly moving into position. We'll be ready to act on your deck. So, brothers, why are we here? Roger that, sir. We're on it. Over. Just like Father Salandius foretold. Who arrived? Satan's slaves! It's like you missed the morning sermon. Well, I didn't. One day you are going to get sent to fight demons for that. But it's so early. Just tell me what he said. Oh, all right. Well, a heretic actually arrived right at the center, just like it was foretold. They rang the bell, so our guys took the boats, went there and searched the place. But the heretic just vanished. Not to mention that Katia and your witch spawn escaped in all the confusion. There's a rumor that people saw her with the heretics. So you think they might attack? Who knows? They are heretics. May the Zarfish devour them. You see, it's Simon's back. Back? But he and Kirill vowed to eradicate all the demons. You don't just come back after that. Well, ask anyone. They got captured by heathens, but a heretic. One of the new ones freed them. Ah, old Simon just got cold feet, that's all. All the stories people tell not to go. No, he did not. He came back, and with a huge fuss at the church, he got his way too. Now things were all praying for that heretic instead of Simon. They just want to get to the other side, that's all. For a heretic? It would please God, though. That's Simon. Hey, brother. Everyone is looking for it. Just made the cross. This is where? To the dance. Where we are not. Why is that? We are the just ones. We have other celebrities. It's not what I meant. Boy, you are dumb. Well, explain it better. Why is it better where heretics live? Well, no one's explaining it to you. You just stand and look around. The heretics might be here already. I'm almost at the goal. Are you locked out there? And the skies rained missiles, and the ground burned to ash, and the seas boiled, and people turned into shadows. But our cloister survived, for the faithful reside here, and the Lord in his mercy and wisdom has chosen one among them who goes by the name of Silantius. And so speaketh the Lord, I will be with you, and will keep you safe, provided you are true in your devotion, provided you reject satanic technology, we reject, and even more so, do you reject Satan's deception, that thing they call electric current. They curse it gift the enemy cave to the fools, so that they would fancy themselves above reproach, above God, and more powerful than him. We reject! Hey, 
Save man, my children! For the electric current, he Satan's temptation and his poison! Only those who reject electricity will be allowed into the kingdom of God! Only those who remain unsullied by its corruption will be led through by the Sarvish! Glory to the fish! So let us not fear the heretics at our door. The ones who attack our clothes. Even with their iron steeds standing before us, stinking of machine oil and shining its heretical light upon us, we will not falter. Let us steal ourselves against them. For this is our hour of glory. Amen! Amen! So let your hands slay the enemy's servants with no rest or mercy! For we carry out the will of our Lord! And it is his retribution and punishment for their sins that our enemies will receive! And all who stand before our gates shall scatter like dust in the wind. His will be done! His will be done! For he will devour them, body and soul! We'll never get past the starfish! So you got me, you damned heretics! You took Katya, and now you have me! Damn, you are quicker to him! Look, we're just passing through. Let us through peacefully, our guys won't shoot. We've been easy on you people the whole time, and Katya asked us to take her along herself. Do you get me? Sure thing! First you kill off the local cutthroats, and then you switch to us! Will you kill elders and children too? Or have you drunk enough blood already? Leave us for good now. God may punish you for your sins, but my responsibility is to tend my flock. That's a good boy. Hear me, brothers! Hold your fire! You hear me? I'll excommunicate everyone who shoots! Well, I did all I could. Just don't shoot. And tell the driver to keep it slow. The bridge is in shambles, so don't stop. Or the bridge might collapse. You will have to do here. We've reached an agreement. They will let us through if we don't shoot and move slowly. And don't stop. I repeat, do not stop. Over. Artyom, let's jump! Well, that's a job well done, huh? <laughs>We left Volga behind. The endless expanses of Russia stretch before us now. The bridge dwellers had finally decided to believe that we were not demons and let us pass. Anna was right. We invaded their world, and it's not up to us to destroy it, no matter how stupid it may seem. Electricity is a sin. Is that really worse than the lies we were told in the metro? about how the whole world was dead and there was nowhere to go? Everybody in the tunnels bought that convenient lie. Once we reach Yamantau, we will at least know if that lie was justified, since so far we haven't met any signs of enemy occupation. Artyom. Artyom. Wake up, dear. Is he up yet? Artyom, the colonel wants you on the bridge. See you later. Come on, wake up. You did a great job there. We are not home anymore, so we'd all better act like you did. 
walked smoothly. It's not like there's many of us humans left now. So I hope someday we will be able to trust others just because. Because they are people too. Am I bothering you? Sorry, I'm in a philosophical mood today. Think of this workbench, eh? Everything is within reach, yet there's so much space left. Most of the stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen, so thank you. We'll have to keep pitching in like this too. Looks like we're facing a long journey, and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. Plus, the further from Moscow we get, the harder they'll probably be to get. So don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many things to do. I haven't decided where I'm going to work on the suits, but I'll have to, and soon. And it's high time we fixed our uniforms. Some of our people are starting to look pretty ragged, you know? Oduk's plate carrier won't hold the back plate anymore, and he jokes that he's lucky it's not the front one, or else his toes would be in danger. <sighs> Regardless, I am turning this little gang back into a real army. Well, that's it. I bragged enough and won't waste any more of your time. The Colonel summoned you. Well, I have stuff to do too. You guys are fast to break gear, but none too expedient to fix it. Uncle Tokarev! Uncle Tokarev! <sighs> what would you like to ask, Nastya? Uncle Tokarev, do you have a sewing machine? No, I don't. But how are you going to fix the suits then? Well, like everyone else, I take a thread and a needle, and I use a sail stitch. Whoa, cool! Can you teach me? I sure can, but later. I've got work to do. Will you let me fix Sam's rifle strap? Well, sure thing. Oh, but under supervision. Sam is so strict, you know. And Uncle Sam isn't strict at all. He's kind. <laughs> all right, look here. I'll show you once. Now we do this. Got that. Yes, yes. and now this way. Yes. You have got to be careful here. See? I see. Yes, yes, and now, this way. Got that. A smoke break. 
That's good. <sighs> oh, this is one mean smoke. Damn, this is rough. Well, <clears throat> nothing we couldn't take. <clears throat> well, you are the right kind of guys. I mean, you, the Colonel, Duke, that guy did a swell job on that bridge. And now he's bragging about it like a child. He's a child, really. No, a child, but he's good. So, uh, yeah, what did I want to say? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, thank you. You you people accepted me, and, and I... I'm a simple guy. I, I, I will pay that debt back, okay? So, how do you like it out here after your tunnels? Freedom, huh? Sure thing, so much space. It feels too empty to me, though. Just reeds and ruins and those damn mutants. Hate them. Phew. So you guys are gonna see the government. So, Bratuha, don't be mad, but just tell me, what the hell do you even need them for? Well, of course it might be interesting to take a look, but throughout all of my rambling, I only met two kinds of ex-government people. Dead ones and gang leaders. And let me tell you, the latter are much worse than your typical bandit. They just have to make a speech before doing something off. So what I mean, I, I didn't really care about the government even before the war, much less now, when everything's long since gone to shit. So what for, really? I'm a simple man, Artyomich. I told I'm with you, that means I'm with you for the long haul. But I'd much rather find a nice place to live at than go see the government. Of course, they could give us luxury bunkers or something. Well, Artyom... You seem cold. Go get warmed up a bit. I'll smoke some more. I'll start to think about it. Or just stay. We have enough space now. So you're back. What other plans does our leader have in store? Wait, don't tell me. Stay here for a bit, Artyom. This is great. I wish I could stay like this forever. Artyom, when you climb those ruins back in Moscow, or with your radio, did you imagine our life on the surface at all? A home, for one. A place where we could live. A log cabin on the outskirts of a forest. Or how about a bungalow on an ocean shore? Well, you know, there's something great in simply going anywhere like this. Together. Through the abandoned stations, the ruins, the wasteland. Especially in our own private compartment. Thinking back, isn't this our honeymoon trip? <laughs> it certainly feels like one, even though it's a bit late. We've only had some honeymoon sorties at best so far. Leaving already? Well, go get them, Tiger. You know I had a talk with Katya. Artyom, come on in and have a seat. Stepan's putting on a live performance here. So, Artyom, are you going for a jam? Come on, pick the guitar up. Thank you, Stepan. 
I'm sorry to ask, Katja, but Nastya's father. He's dead, isn't he? Does Nastya know? He is. I tried keeping it a secret. Told her he left for the market. Ah, stop it already! <laughs> Hey, Artyom, the colonel is waiting for you on the bridge. <laughs> so, what's up with your plate carrier? Tokarev was mad. Ah, it's a long story. Come on, out with it. Well, there I am, sitting on a beam, looking at Artyom milling about below. Oh, you are so full of it. <laughs> Artyom did most of the work. <laughs> <laughs> that he did, uh, yeah, he did. But you don't have to interrupt my lies. You asked me about the Vest yourselves. All right, go on. So I see Artyom get to the door, and I think it's time I came down. So I do. But something just holds on to me. What does? Oh, how should I know? It's dark, nobody around. But I can't move. And those locals kept going on about Tsar something. So I thought I was in a kind of a bind. So? So I just unfastened the safety and let down. There was that shed down there. The roof was uh, kind of close. Uh, uh, and what about the Tsar? Oh, blue! The Tsar was huge! Scary as shit! There was this rusty bolt, and my carrier got snagged on it. <laughs> well, you Duke are lucky you already have a nickname. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. And what was next? Oh, <laughs> next. Next we jumped that old preacher of theirs. Well, I jumped it most of it. <laughs> he swooped in like a hawk! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's good. Well, I was Listen! About those beams and I had a talk with the Ark! All thanks to Tokarev, he got the decoder working. Ark, come in! Come in, Ark! Over! Hey, this is Ark? Hey, uh, identify yourself! Uh, uh, over! This is Colonel Svetoslav Milnikov speaking. I'm in command of a special operations force. We have received your signal and are currently heading your way. Do you copy? Over. Yes, yes. I hear you loud and clear. Who am I talking to? How do I address you? The Deputy Chief of Communications Department, Major Ivanov. A moment. Oh, yes, Major. I understand that a checkup is in order. Great, Colonel. Um, a medical? Simply capable. I am sorry for the lack of trust, but... We are approaching the Yamantau bunker, the final destination of our long journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. He is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people gone wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned, as well as Anna and I. 
and we will all return home to the metro. Too fast, and watch out for radiation. Over. Roger that. I still can't believe this. We're there. Do you get this? We're finally there. This has been our goal, not for weeks or months, but for 20 years. My whole life. And it was not spent in vain. Now I know it for a fact. Mama, look. Are we going to live here now? I don't know. Why? I don't like this place. It's creepy. Shh, don't say that. Over, Colonel. It's getting really hot out here. Everyone, masks on! Passengers, get inside and button up tight! Yes, of course. Come on, Nastya. Change of plans. We're taking the rail car from here. Wait for Artyom and me. Roger How about me? You've been dreaming to get here for so long, and are now leaving me behind? Am I your daughter or not? All right, come with us, or else I'll never hear the end of it. A wise decision. Yermak, stop the engine. the Aurora back to the safe zone, and sit tight there. We do that right now! Stepan, you're in charge while I'm away. Sir, yes sir! Great, let's go! They've been pounding this place. Worse than Moscow. Yeah, looks like it. See that crater? Wonder what the yield was on that one. Looks like a hundred to me. Lucky. Your guys used to have three and five hundred ones too. Well, even a hundred seems to have done okay. <laughs> This is a bad place. Now we shouldn't have come here. Really? Okay, so where's my welcoming committee in red carpet? I don't get this. Oh, see? Nobody home. How about we go back? Huh? Поехали. Look! Identify yourself. <sighs> Colonel Miller, you will report to the Minister of Defense. And where are your people, <sighs> Colonel? With the train. It's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. See? We're expected. This place, well, this is completely, completely new. Why is it 
so deserted here. No gun placements, no patrols, not even lookouts. Why would they need any of that? A nuclear warhead couldn't take it out. What are the maintenance people thinking, I wonder? Yeah, this place could use some cleaning, at the very least. Sam, idiot! You know what? No need for us all to crowd the government, so you two better stay with Chris. Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Prepare a speech. Reporting to the minister is no joke. Ah, get off my case. I pulled an all-nighter. <laughs> Don't you feel like you should say something to Artyom now? Yes. You were right, Artyom. And I was wrong. Thanks for not giving up. Nothing! Comrade Minister! Commander of the Joint Special Operations Forces, Squadron of the City of Moscow, Colonel Miller, reporting. I would like to request that my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Women and children? <laughs> Good. Haven't had those in a while. Who are you? Yeah! 